Winter Games is a sports video game developed by EPYX and released in Europe by US Gold, based on sports featured in the Winter Olympic Games. A snow and ice themed follow up to the highly successful Summer Games, Winter Games was released in 1985 for the Commodore 64 and later ported to several popular home computers and video game consoles of the 1980s. The game was presented as a virtual multi sport carnival called the EPYX Winter Games. There was no official IOC licensing in place with up to eight players each choosing a country to represent, and then taking turns competing in various events to try for a medal. Events <inaudible> 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 The events available vary slightly depending on the platform, but include some or all of the following Alpine skiing Ski jumping Biathlon Bobsled Figure skating Speed skating Luge Freestyle skiing, more precisely, the aerial skiing discipline, called hot dog aerials. In the game the game allowed you to compete in all of the events sequentially, choose a few events, choose just one event, or practice an event. Ports Winter Games was ported to the Amiga, Apple II, Atari Street, Apple Macintosh, Apple IIGS, Amstrad CPC, ZX Spectrum, and DOS computer platforms, and to the Atari 2600 Atari 7800, Nintendo Entertainment System, and the Family Computer Disk System video game consoles. In 2004, it was featured as one of the games on the C64 Direct to TV. Reception Winter Games was Epix's best-selling Commodore game as of late 1987. Its sales had surpassed 250,000 copies by November 1989. In 1985, ZZAP 64 gave 94% for the game, calling it another classic sports simulation from EPYX. Lemon64 website users have given average vote of 8.6 which places the game on top 20 list on the site. The game was reviewed in 1988 in Dragon No. 132 by Hartley, Patricia, and Kirk Lesser in The Role of Computers column. The reviewers gave the game 3.5 out of 5 stars. The Spectrum version topped the charts for the month of April. However, the NES and Famicom Disk System versions were critically panned for unresponsive controls, abysmal music and poor graphics. <laughs> <laughs>